What's up guys, it is a T-Ball and I am back with another video. So today, we're going to be breaking down how Trevor Ariza fits with the Los Angeles Lakers. So before I start, if you want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, as I really do appreciate all the support. So it looks like Trevor Ariza will be making his return to the Lakers very soon, as LA is in talks of a three-way deal along with the Phoenix Suns and another team to get the 3 and D wing. The Lakers will be giving up KCP in this trade, to a likely third team, and the third team will be sending out a point guard to the Suns. The Suns really need help by the point guard position, so it does make sense that they would trade for one, especially with Devin Booker out. If I had to guess who the third team is, I think it's the Atlanta Hawks who are trading Jeremy Lin to Phoenix. However, no one really knows who the third team is yet, but we'll find out very soon. So with all those details out of the way, how would Ariza fit with the Lakers? So Trevor Ariza will be a great 3 and D wing who has a size and length to guard multiple positions. He was key in the Rockets' defensive scheme last year, where there was a lot of switching and without Ariza and Maba Mute, Houston has struggled to maintain their same level of D. Ariza can guard positions 1-4, to four, and he has quick hands to get strips and steals in the passing lanes, with a career average of 1.5 steals per game. Ariza can come off the bench and provide the Lakers with a stopper, who can guard the opposing team's best wing player, and lineups of Ball, Hart, Ariza, LeBron, and McGee would be an elite defensive unit. On offense, Ariza is mainly just a 3 and D guy, or at least that is what he should be doing. He is a career 35.3% shooter from 3, and he helps spread the floor which would give guys like Ball and LeBron more room to drive and operate. However, with the Suns, he has also showed the ability to do a bit of playmaking as well, as he is averaging 3.3 assists per game this season. He's a solid passer, but I would not expect him to do much playmaking with Ball, LeBron, and Rondo already on the team. Ariza's role on offense should be similar to the one he had with the Rockets, where he stayed out at the perimeter and in the corners waiting for kickout passes and just shooting threes. If Ariza could bump up his 3-point percentage back up to around 37% like it was last season, that would be huge for the Lakers' offense. I definitely think this is possible, as with the Suns, Ariza didn't have any good playmakers besides Booker who isn't a true point guard to find him for open shots. This is one of the main reasons why Ariza has struggled from 3 with the Suns, but a change of scenery to the Lakers should do wonders for his efficiency. Overall, I think Ariza should be a solid pickup for the Lakers. Hopefully, the Lakers don't give up much assets besides KCP to get Ariza, maybe at most two future second round picks. But we'll see what happens, and I'm definitely interested to see the final details in the deal. So that's a wrap, thanks guys for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball, business or have any video ideas for me to do. Let me know as I do try to get back to all you guys there. Drop a comment down below on how you think Trevor Ariza would fit with the Lakers. Do you think it would be a good trade and who do you think the third team is? Let me know down in the comments below as I do read all comments and I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say. So with all that being said, once again, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.